It's not detecting my face, that's so sad. Okay, here we go. watch enough YouTube photography videos, you will notice that hard light, like this direct sun, is not always the most ideal thing to shoot in. But why? Because we talked about, and I'm going to put a card right there, we talked about how you ought to be able to take a good photo anywhere, anytime with any equipment. So we're going to talk about how to use direct sunlight to your advantage as a photographer with Sam again. Are y'all tired of Sam yet? I'm not. And Leah's here. Where'd she go? She's back Say hi, Leah. Number one way to use direct sun is to just full on embrace it. And especially if you have like a model with a face like Sam's, you can just embrace it and make it part of the story you're telling because life happens in direct sun. And so that's a story that you can tell. And so we're going to tell that story right now. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have Sam facing toward the sun and telling a story about a sunny day at a skate park. The trick about facing the sun is that normally, at least where I live, the sun and the wind are opposite directions. So if you're facing into the sun, the wind is coming at you from behind, so you got to do something with your hair. We, we have her hair up in kind of a sporty ponytail because that's gonna keep it from blowing into her face, which is not attractive. We want to see her face. Her face is lovely. So we're gonna take those photos now. Here we go. The next thing you can do in open sun is get out of open sun and find shade. And if you can't find shade, you can make shade. Look for shadows in shade. That's what shade is, it's a shadow. And uh, the light will be softer. The other cool thing you can do is, is play with uneven shadows. And so we're gonna use Leah, who's playing in the water over there in her favorite little parasol to demonstrate how to play with shadows and embrace the shadows. If you don't have shade, like let's say you're in the middle of an open field and there's no trees, no nothing, you can either turn the subject away from the sun or you can use a diffuser and make your own shade. And Sam's gonna hold that. She doesn't know it yet. I just told her. Right, Sam? cope with direct sun is to fill the hard shadows with another light source. So uh, you can use a reflector, which I've used and I keep in the truck just in case, but I really don't like reflectors because they're just harder to control. So we're going to use the strobe today. It's very inexpensive where strobes are concerned, but uh, it's powerful enough to fill the sh hard shadows. And 
this formulation, we're using the, the strobe as a fill light. But if we turn the strobe up and we make our de neutral density filter darker, we can use it as the main light. This is what that looks like. I just realized I didn't film any kind of elegant outro conclusion to that. Basically, three kinds of ways to handle direct sunlight. You can embrace it. You can hide from it with shade or making your own shade. Or you can fill it with another light source, whether it's a reflector or a strobe or a speed light. But you can shoot. and direct sunlight. It's possible, it's doable, you can create some great, you can create some great images. You can create some create images. Wow. Why are you still watching? I'm not that talented. But anyways, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe already. Hit the thumbs up button and the bell. Thanks. God bless you. See you next time.